An encouraging update this evening for a church that needs one desperately. Harvest Church in Germantown says its pastor is improving good news. After the congregation learned yesterday, yesterday morning in fact, that four church members were killed in a plane crash in Texas. Harvest Church says Bill Garner, Steve Tucker, Tyler Patterson, and Tyler Springer all died in that crash. The small plane went down near Yoakum, Texas, a small town between San Antonio and Houston. The church posted an update on head pastor Kenan Vaughn earlier today. They say he is breathing on his own now and communicating by writing, but he does have a few surgeries ahead of him still. Investigators are working to find out why the plane went down. But the good news about Pastor Vaughn has the community at Harvest Church reflecting on all the good he has done and will be able to continue doing once he gets better. Rebecca Butcher is here after talking to one father who says Pastor Vaughn changed his life. Rebecca? Richard, that definitely is the case. Pastor Kenan Vaughn is the lone survivor, like I said, of a plane crash that happened there in Texas. He's breathing on his own as well. I spoke to a father, part of his ministry, about how the pastor mentored him on fatherhood. In and out of prison, using drugs. And I met Jesus in a federal prison in 2008. He changed my life. Dad Landon Clay also says the experience changed his heart, especially for other people. So when he heard Harvest Church pastor Ken and Vaughn at a men's conference. He talked about being a godly father, uh, being godly parenting. I was a single dad. I'd been in prison for some years. Uh, I was fresh in, in the in ministry. Harvest Church confirmed the crash killed four church members in Texas, saying its lead pastor had surgery for internal injuries and is now communicating through writing. I know they were doing the Lord's work. Uh, I know that's what Keenan does. Clay says what he does is also mentor men in Memphis. He taught me how to, uh, to, how, to how to be a spiritual father myself to my son, you know, to, to how, what that looked like, you know, uh, what, what, uh, how would you handle uh, certain disciplines if he gets in trouble or how to correct your son in a, in a, in a godly way. Clay tells me Pastor Kenan also founded Downline Ministries, which he joined. The organization works to disciple men around the city, which reaches around the world through mission trips. They have changed the city of Memphis and, and have touched thousands of people, maybe millions. Clay also shares that Vaughn inspired him into street evangelism, spreading his own story. And I know that um, that, that Kenan surviving this, it just further, you know, settles in my spirit. Hey, he's, he's one of God's chosen ones. He truly is. Um, he has impacted thousands of people's lives and he, God ain't done with him yet. Yeah, I'm sure uh, church members would also agree. Clay shares he is working uh, to start a faith-based rehabilitation center right here in Memphis to help others. The NTSB is investigating that plane crash in Texas.